Hi folks, happy to have you here on the AX Semantics Meetup channel. Here you will find every 14 days our latest video from our meetup where we're discussing with experts and customers about the opportunities of content automation. If you have any questions, just write it in the comments. We will answer them as soon as possible. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. Then we will see you next time here on this channel. So I'd like to show you what Peer 14 does. So this is our new web page. This is a website that we have launched last week. And we wanted to underline with our website that we love the Baltic Sea and the Baltic Sea is really part of our DNA. So this is the message that we want to convey. And I also wanted to show you our diversity. This is our store page, Heringsdorf, Königsborn and Zinovitz. We have mono brand stores such as Marco Polo and also multi brand stores such as our Pier 14 stores. We have also a Copenhagen store where we offer shoes, then we have a super dry store, Strandläufer, L'Occitane, Jack Wolfskin. We also have stores that offer outdoor fashion. So it is really useful to have sportswear, outdoor clothes at the Baltic Sea. So for this reason, we also focused on this outdoor concept. The same applies to Zinovitz and Königsborn. We have also two concept stores, the Marco Polo Strand Casino. There's everything that you can find in this store. You can find items from Marco Polo. Then we have also two restaurants in this store. Um, this is a um, star, Michelin star restaurant. And you can just stroll th through the store and just ins get inspired by our items. So we wanted to combine all the beautiful things. So you can just stroll and get inspired by our fashion, just have a quick cappuccino and just think of whether you want to buy a certain product or not. And then you can just enjoy the moment in this place. The same applies to Zinovitz. We had our first concept store here in Zinovitz, Pier 14. It's a very beautiful um, store. We have lots of deli products, interior design products, clothes, beauty items. We offer burgers in our restaurant and um, it is a place, a mansion where you can feel truly comfortable. This store has gotten two awards in 2015 and 2018. It was, it was rewarded with a prize, an award store of the year. So it is a place where you can spend some time and just enjoy the moment. So we also offer some events. We want to make or give our customers a good shopping experience. We have different corporation partners. We had an event with Moshmosh. There were t-shirts with certain patches and prints that we offered. And we also had event dinners, music dinners. There were some dinners that we offered by listening to music from Rammstein. So we always try to provide some fresh impetus and to, to give our customers a great shopping experience, a unique experience here on this island. So, so much for Pier 14. So I was there myself in person. Thank you for having me there. So I, can, I couldn't agree more because the brand P14 
Kiev 14 is really unique. You can have lunch there, you can do your shoppings there, then you can have coffee and time flies, really. You can spend an entire day there without noticing that time has passed. So it is really unique and special. You have a star restaurant, right? That, have you mentioned that? Yes, yes, I have mentioned it just quickly. So let me get back to this again. So it is in the Heringsdorfer Strand Casino, the restaurant one and the O room restaurant. And the O room restaurant is the star restaurant that we have. Andre Keller is the star cook in this restaurant. He is inspired by his love to this island, his, his home. He's inspired also by the international cuisine, of course, but he, uh, he also adapts the menu that he offers regularly and he's always giving fresh impetus. He is the youngest star cook in Germany, so he is really special and for the fifth time, we've in a row, we've gotten this star, awarded this star. So this is also pretty unique. And this is what makes our place special to spend an evening in a star restaurant for us at people, for us people who live in at Husedom, or also for people who spend their holidays there. So it is a unique experience to eat in such a special restaurant. So, um, All right, you have 75 brands, right? So this is changing regularly. Currently, we have about 100 brands that we offer. But it varies because in, we have a Valentine store. We have three Jack Wolfkin stores. We have three Marco Polo stores. These are the major labels that we represent. And then we also have the Strandläufer store where we also offer lots of brands like North Face, etc. Everything that you need to spend a nice day at the beach. In our Pier 14 stores, our signature stores, our flagship stores, we offer nice labels and brands that also focus on sustainability. We have shoes and cashmere pullovers, and we have lots of brands that focus on sustainability and Jana Kriel is one of our um, um, CEOs there or yeah, one of the persons who lead the stores and she focuses on sustainability and this is what we do, we focus on convenient clothes, also chic, but also casual clothes. So Annika, people often ask what you need, what people are needed to work with AX Semantic. So what kind of people do we need for it? So what do you do? So what about you? <laughs> okay. Who am I? What do I do? I studied tourism in Wilhelmshaven and I focused on new media during my studies and we set up our first website during our studies. We focused on digital online marketing as regards tourism and later on I worked for an online agency and I came to London and also worked for an online agency as a project manager. I helped customers to and advise, gave them advice as regards to their websites and I could accompany various projects, websites, 
the setup of different apps. So I was in the position to give advice to our customers. And there were, I worked for different companies and agencies, L'Oreal and ACES. These were the companies that we gave advice to. So this is how I gained experience. But for private reasons, um, we moved back to Usedom and if you live on the countryside, it is really difficult to work for an agency. And because of that, I focused on the marketing field in the hotel industry. And I got to know Pier 14 as a customer, but I also saw the potential of this company. I worked for the hotel and then I came in contact with Pier 14 and Pier 14 contacted me and they heard that I work in the field of IT and website. So I was really happy that they called me. And so they asked me to accompany this website project. And yeah, that's how I got here. So it's a, I'm a person who studied a lot of things. So I'm familiar with several things. I also copy edited marketing texts and maintain the website. So I really got an insight into various fields. I got to know a lot of this of this place, um, Usedom and the Baltic Sea in general. I am part of the e-commerce team and we have two photographer, photographers who are responsible for the product uh, pictures. Stefan Richter is one of the three CEOs of Pier 14 and since two years he has been planning this project and since September last year um, I am now their e-commerce manager. So it's a really courageous step, right, from a retailer to a digital web shop to an online shop. This is a huge step, right? So two years of planning, yeah, that's needed. So in October, we will come to Heringsdorf. As a semantics, we will organize a conference, a live conference, and you might want to note this down in your calendar mid because we will take a look at what happened with Pier 14 and we'll also take a look at the latest developments. So Pier 14 is a small retailer and the company realizes now that they need to resort to automation. Yeah. So let's first have a look at the pictures, at the photos that you have. Okay. So why do we need two years for this project? It appears to be a lot of time. Year 14 always wanted not just to take the next step, but to take the right step. What does that mean? It means to first lay the groundwork, the logistical groundwork, and also to, to, to adopt this approach with as little personnel as possible. Because here in Usedom, it is not that easy to find the fitting personnel. People want to spend their holidays here, but not necessarily live here. People want to live in larger cities. And for this reason, we had to make sure that we can pursue our strategy with a small team. So we put a lot of effort and time into planning things. So all the different things had to be connected, the shops and the, and the settlement process as well. You have to make sure that you can find the 
corresponding items in the shop and then sent it to the customers. So the colleagues in the store had to assume this task as well. So you asked for the image automation. We invested last year in this project. We used the fashion photo studio. That means that we have a huge fresh, uh, photo studio here. It is amazing because the studio can do so many things automatically. We see the light from different sides, so you can also do group photos, etc. So there's the perfect light that you have when using this photo studio. No matter what you want to to show, like um, swimwear or different clothes, everything can be portrayed in the perfect light. Our photographer um, just selects a template and then just has to push the button and then the studio will take a photo of the, the product from all sides. So we make sure that all photos are equal. They have all the different, they have all the same background, the different light setting. So this is how we can create a harmonious setting here. This just makes our photo process professional. The photo studio is so large that we can even make photos from models and we can also make photos while moving because a model can move and yeah just move around and the photo studio can then still make perfect photos with that then we also invested in this alpha shot it is ideal for smaller items such as vases or a bottle you can you can choose a, a template as well, a bottle, for instance, a, a visible, a, a transparent bottle, for instance, um, or a non-transparent bottle. So you have lots of templates, templates to choose. Our photographer can uh, get support and we have someone who can give them advice and um, also give them advice on the templates. And in this way, we achieved remarkable results. So this is how we can make photos from different angles from 360 degrees angle. So we are really proud of this investment because it really makes our lives easier. Our photographers have experience in photography in general, but this technology really helps them. It helps them to, to, do, to do really well in photography. And we can also have people doing photographer who are not experts in photography because the technology really helps them. We have someone who worked in the field of engineering and the person then focused on photography. The fashion studio um, is also used by a photographer who first focused on weddings. So now we can have a diverse personnel in the field of photography. Thank you so much for introducing your photography systems. I visited a lot of retailers and I know that it is really difficult to take the right and fitting pictures. So this is really great what you have here. So a colleague of mine also, who's an expert in this, talked a lot of talked a lot about this issue and he also ex explained to me how complex that issue is these machines are huge right yes excuse me that the 
So this speak is not clearly. All right. We need product descriptions. We have beautiful photos here that are created automatically. Now we need the content, unique content and unique product descriptions. How do you have, how do you portray different emotions for different brands? Okay, we are here at the, can you please tell me something about the product data? Okay, just for those who don't know that, here the product data, product data is the baseline to create product descriptions. Okay, please uh, tell us a little bit more about that. Yes, okay. So we faced a challenge. We have data on our products and my colleague is entering this data in a system from Rakio. And we also use this system at the checkout. We give enter information on the color, the price, the material, the season, etc. And then we all enter this in the e-commerce cloud. We are currently working on an interface with this cloud and AX Semantics. We have a CSV upload here, and th these are our base data. So the description, a brief description, the name, the EAN number, FARP, the color code, the color, then the producer, the manufacturing number, the gender for male, for, for men or for women, unisex, we have different producers, 73 brands that we want to sell online, these are the brands here, Milestone, etc. So a lot of brands that we offer, or that we will offer. Okay. And this is also an abbreviation system. 100% cotton or different compositions. And we entered all the abbreviations here. So, tensile, tennisil, or, yeah, tennisil, for instance, is a sustainable product that's, which is um, produced uh, um, from wood or from wooden fibers. And then we also enter all the um, attributes, whether it is soft to the skin and comfortable to wear, etc. And we also have um, different notes on how to wash the products. Um, and then we also have the season and the product group. Is it a um, facial cream, a handbag, or a, a pair of pants? So from my colleague from from entering the dates, then we have the dates here in our system. So we enter the dates and we have it here in the system. So these are really basic data, color, material, etc. But based on this data, we did some brainstorming with you and you helped us to to extend this data. Yes, that's important information. Based on this personal scarcity at the Baltic Sea, we faced a hurdle because product data or, or this information needs to be really comprehensive to produce unique texts. So for this reason, we didn't want to spend too much time on this data, but um, just enough time for these filters to work. 
we wanted to spend so much time on it that we can describe the prop the product um, appropriately so there's a question on the pictures why do you have your own photos you could also use the photos from the manufacturers right why do you use your own photos and there's another question and first so why do you use your own photos uh, earlier on we used photos from the manufacturers but these photos are all different and then we had a mixed a mixed approach because every producer or every brand uses different photos and we wanted to have, give a unique impression a we want to show a picture from the front from the side and from the back and this is what we want to do all the time and when using the photos from the manufacturers you have a we have different pictures that they offer you are a very strong brand and you also want to your own your own signature here right yes exactly yes you said your photographer are still are currently taking photos for the next season right yes so let's have a look at your brands at the brand lexicon so we have lots of brands here you have uh, the Drycon brand, for instance. It's a German brand, a traditional brand that focuses on sustainability, for instance. And it's important to highlight that in your um, description. So this is your brand database. What information have you entered in this database? So how long did it take to set up this database? This is a database comprising 99 brands. We're almost 100 brands. And we wanted to enter structured information. Because we need structured information. So we entered always the same information on every brand. For instance, the founder, the year of founding, the, the values, quality, materials, comfort, style, etc. Every manufacturer focuses on a different aspect. So where is this company located? Have they um, been awarded certain um, um, certain prizes or certificates. Uh, and do they focus on fair trade or other aspects? GOTS is just one example here. And then we also wrote something just informative about the brand that can be inserted in a product description. We have absolute cashmere here. We have five different um, sentences here and different sections. And I use one of these sections for a product of this brand. So every section can be used alone here. Absolute cashmere is manufactured sustainably. We have our products from goats from the Mongolai, from, from Mongolia. So this is really something that we can use individually. So for a winter jacket, you might not want to focus on goats, right? So you can have unique and individual texts for each brand. Yes, exactly. 
gestellt werden würden im Zeug. Yes. So there's a question on this very matter. So the textile industry has a database that can be used by manufacturers. Everyone can enter their data. Does this data not suffice or is it not comprehensive enough? So what's the answer on this? So we have smaller brands and this information is not given for these smaller brands. Yes, Fashion Cloud, this is a database where you have information available, but there are also smaller brands. Du und ich, for instance, is a smaller label that we will introduce in autumn. It was even difficult to find information on this label because it is so new. Yes, sure, this is a really key issue here. Paul said, thank you. So it, your answer was helpful. All right, let's move on, Annika. So we have information on the brand and we also gathered some hard facts. Peer 14, here we will start um, copy editing very soon. So we started to gather some information on Peer 14. Yes, so we wanted to establish trust and to, to gain the trust of our customers. We wanted to introduce ourselves. We wanted to say who we are. We are not a Chinese company who tries to just steal your data or something. No, we are a reliable company here at the Baltic Sea Coast, a trustworthy company. And this is why we want to give our customers this information. So we wanted to focus on our history and we wanted to focus on holiday shopping. So we said it was never so easy to do holiday shopping. You can just buy your holiday clothes here or in our web shop. So this is very convenient. You can just buy your stuff from home and just use it wherever you want. So the shop is not ready. So this is just uh, our first information. Okay, will you implement this information in each product text? No, we won't. We will just spread this information. No, we cannot uh, put it in every product description because this would lead to many uh, duplicates. No, so it is something that we just spread across the website. So in four weeks time, we will have perfect product descriptions available. But this is the third component. We have the product data, the brand lexicon, and also hard facts about Peer 14. And the fourth component, that's what we are going to look at now. The Baltic Sea. What can be done at the Baltic Sea? Just uh, we focus on the on the village which has a P14 store it can be done. There are individual activities that are described and that can be assigned to a style, so casual, sporty, or elegant. So and you cannot say that you have to buy a very pricey product and chic product just to stroll at the Baltic Sea coast. No, so you have to focus and to assign the products to the certain activities. Exactly, yes. And we will continue to further develop this idea. This is just um, the baseline here. So we just wanted to trigger some pictures and to make people think of the situation there. So a summer and you feel this the sun on your skin and enjoy an ice cream. So these are just pictures that we're trying to play with. Well, yes, you invested a lot of money in your idea and you are 
doing well in your endeavor, right? Yes. So the love for the Baltic Sea, this is a very strong concept that you have. So I'm confident that this is a good concept that you have, that you developed. Wellenstein, yes, this is a great jacket, but I could also, I could have also bought it here in Stuttgart, right? Yes, but it is about the brand. It is about the concept of the Baltic Sea. And it is important to, to establish a link here between this affection for the Baltic Sea and the clothes. So this is something that is in work. Uh, this is something in work in progress. Yes, in four weeks time, we hope to have our first texts available and in eight weeks time we want to have a f we want to further develop these texts and have them as good as ready so we'll first have to get in touch with our agency but we will have two further texts that we want to focus on and do you also focus on SEO and on keywords? So on keywords in automated text for your website. What about SEO? Yes, SEO is absolutely vital, but we want to be realistic. We cannot compete with Zalando. We, it is really, difficult at, at least not yet not yet yes that's true but um, we want to have seo seo optimized texts but it takes time and it also costs a lot of money to really invest in seo so let's first be realistic and focus on the baltic sea fashion for the baltic sea and this is our speciality and this is what we want to focus on we always want to focus on the Baltic Sea, on buzzwords from the Baltic Sea, the villages and the activities that you can do at the Baltic Sea. That's our strategy. All right. So Frank is, con is happy with your answer. So these are our four components for the text creation your brand, your commitment, that's obvious. You can now follow Peer14 on Instagram. That's help, that helps Peer14. And it is something that we truly recommend 